everybody and welcome back. It's me, Shwebby! Hello and welcome back to some more Sims. We're continuing on with the Gamer Mansion. Today's request is from none other than Tychus and Aaron from The Right Gamers. If you haven't checked out their channel, please go ahead and do so. I'll leave a link to their channel in the description below. They play a variety of games and when I mean variety, it's a crap ton. I'm only going to list like the top five that they're currently working on, which is Night in the Woods, Mages of Mistralia, Little Nightmares, Hellblade, Solaroids, and that's not even like a quarter of what it is that they played. That's just like the top five that I know of that they're currently working on. And it's just awesome. They upload daily. I think they technically upload twice a day. But they're just so fun to listen to and watch them game. And they have such adorable kitties. Oh my god. But anyways, let's hop into the speed build. back with our most favoritest part ever, which is the Grand Tour. Oh, and I have to say a huge thank you to Pixelesque for showing me that you can turn off the grids in view mode, which is just G. I didn't know that, so, I mean, we won't have to see those now. Now, in order for this to make sense as to its location, yes, it's in the basement. Schweebs, how do they get there? I ended up extending this part right next to the steps so they can get here. This area, which will be sectioned off for a future video, which is a requesty thing, you won't be able to see this because there's going to be like another hidden hallway thing as of right now. Or then. Yeah, time frame stuff. You know what I mean. Anyways. Okay, so. While I was building this room, I created like a really strange lore behind it. So I'm going to explain every little thing as we go. Now, when you first get here, they have the... It's called werewolf jump scare thing. I don't know if these are interactive. I have no idea. I am assuming they're just statues. But uh, if you follow any kind of vampire lore, werewolves tend to be always subservient. And, I mean, if you watched... Oh, which one it was? It, it was, um... Helsing. 
The one with the one guy that plays Dracula. I can never remember his name, but he's an amazing actor. And oh my god, was he a gorgeous Dracula. But anyways, how the, the werewolves in that movie were like, you know, they worked under him kind of thing. So... I figure in this one they were guarding the door, and if they are interactive, maybe it'll scare the Sims from going in there. And maybe, like, this door, in my imagination, will only open up if you are part of the cult or whatever. And I made this very cult-like. So let's go into the room. Now, color-wise, I wanted it to be very dark, and at first I did have a lot of chandeliers in there, but I was like, these are vampires, assuming. They don't want a whole lot of light, just enough to make it, you know, like, bright-ish. So I just did the one, and I put tons of cobwebbing and tears and stuff, and oh my good gorsh. So let's explain the foist thing. You go in here, and it's kind of like, not really a seance, I don't know what the term is, it's just a little meet-and-greet thing, and this little book of magics and cult stuff that they probably have to, like, read off their ritualistic -y things and you've got the organ which I don't know if any of you have ever seen a real organ in like real life and played with it they sound creepy I don't care where you find them I've seen one in a church and even at the church it still sounded like this should only be in a horror movie thing so these are two urns that I decided to put up there and I like the off it's the white and black and then black and white on the pedestals and I was like oh that's so cool and these are supposed to be pictures of ancient ancestors, living or not, we're not entirely sure. So I figured, you know, this would be perfect. Maybe they're not necessarily in the urns themselves, but these are just like past vampires that might possibly still be among us. We have no clue. I don't know. I figured this was more of a hideaway for the vampires. And if you're wondering why I put, these are considered scratch marks or large scratches. I put all over the door, like maybe one of them turned in here and possibly couldn't get out, or what have you. <laughs> Creepy things. And the reason why I put the shelf down here is I wanted it to kind of be tilted to look like it had broken off the wall due to all the scratchings and trying to get outedness. But unfortunately, I'm not able to do so, so this was the closest thing I could do. I gotta say, I love the cobwebs and spiderwebs in here. It just adds to more of the blah that the room gives off. Now, if you're wondering why I changed the uh, coffins halfway through, and I actually just realized this is the wrong coffin. It was supposed to be a match of this. Let me fix it. It will bother me. Ugh, there. <gasps> Changing stuff. Okay. So, I figured, because this guy actually has a name. What's your name? Count Vladisalalalal Strood. We'll call him Vladisalalal. Anyways, Count What's-His-Face, I figure... This was once upon a time his very own coffin, which is all ornate and pretty and all kinds of just fabulous. Oh, wow, that's they got a face? Ew! I didn't know I had a face. <laughs> and I figured in the two coffins right next to him were either was his, like, uh, his wife or wife his, however that normally works for vampires, or possibly his closest generals or something. I don't know. But considering Count Vladaradaratasis no longer is in here, they're just kind of there, and free to use. Now, for the what's the little stone monument thingy here, and the little fountain up underneath, I figured perhaps the lore that I was thinking of while making this and putting his portrait up is the water, there's not necessarily water, but perhaps the remaining of his life essence, which can turn anyone into a vampire. Um, you would just drink from this, and this essentially is a contract that if you drink from this, then you are willing to take all consequences that come from it. Being a vampire, uh, you know, turning into a lobster the moment you go into the sun, all kinds of, you know, nasty, not nice things, and basically having to be a creature of the dark from then on. Now, this was just a random thing that I thought of while I was putting it in here. Because I thought this statue was gorgeous. It's literally just a, a statue of a woman who is, from what I understood, vam uh, a vampiress. I think I said that word right. I don't know. Could be making it harder than it needs to be. But I figured, since vampires actually don't have reflections, why not make up some kind of weird lore to where the one vampire that could turn to stone 
and she has forever stayed in front of that mirror, and no vampire since then has bothered to look at the mirror. I was kind of hoping to have, like, a curtain that can cover it, but I figured, I mean, she's standing in front of it anyway. She was just one of the few who was more or less been a vampire for so long. She was trying to find a way out of the whole situation. And uh, upon actually seeing her reflection turn to stone, this is just some kind of random... It's not even fully fleshed out. So it sounds like a lot of jibber-jabber. But, uh, yeah. So I thought the idea behind it was kind of cool and just creepy. And then the flooring. I like this flooring. It's very Victorian-esque. And then the wall. I was so happy we found this wall. The weird bat symbols and stuff on the previous wall that I was trying to put in here just looked... It looked more like something for a kid's room, or like a kid's horror room thing, you know what I'm talking about? It didn't make any sense. I was like, there's no point. I, I really love the red and gold. It really matches this room, even with this bright red color stuff here, which really stands out. But I like this too. Alright, so that was um, the whole tour for the horror room. Tychus and Aaron, I hope you both enjoyed. I had a lot of fun making this. I was originally gonna do like half this, half Halloween, but I was like, eh? It's just gonna look kind of tacky if I did it that way. So I decided to just do vampire stuff and just kind of make it as spooky as possible. So I hope y'all enjoyed. So, until then, my treebles, if you loved it, don't forget to hit that like button. Let's hear them battle cries. Woo! Yay! I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>